So this, uh, this first poem I'm going to read is called um, it's called to Jeanette, and Jeanette is with us in the audience right there. She's <laughs> my, my partner, and so um, this poem is for her. To Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> to Jeanette. You were a strong epic, its last garland and caravan. Daytime begins the day. You were humming a song whose words I had only recently forgotten. I write very short poems. This is something to look forward to, because if you don't like one, it will quickly be over. <laughs> uh, this is called Human Light. Summer is a becoming garment that conceals what it perfectly shows. A downhill bay bristling trove for the newly fallen what comes to define brackish, high tide, low river, inlet and sprinkler, we'll never quite see from here. See quiet. The night before, someone mentioned Lowell at the sight of skunks tunneling under a fence. One, 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 each passage. Though a drive down the coast is wind inevitable, a herd from time where we arrive in a gravel parking lot. Static radio, a belfry, a bridge, where else to place them? We made our best rain a day faces, we had nothing perfected. Had anyone thought of blankets? dangling from the trees, glass blankets. It wasn't us, but we were looking. It was a simple, strenuous thing. <coughs> uh, this next poem is for a writer that I really admire. His name is James Agee. Um, started off as a poet, moved on to photography and essays, really kind of an incredible individual. Died young, as many of those people do, um, but this is um, a poem for, not, not really in his style, but for many of the landscapes that he speaks to. Uh, after James A. G. Sorry, and this poem starts off with a line taken from his essay, um, Summer, um, Knoxville, 1915. Now is the night one blue dew. Now the breeze to sift our lilting, to tease the air out from crickets, from forgiveness. The dark hangers where nothing tonight, tomorrow will sleep. Now is the quilted drone. It floats the lanterns house to house. Of Estival body, let us now praise the god of apostasy. I too am freighted. I too am marooned by the work of portraiture. A world of receding objects grown larger. A world of diminished approach. Where a man with denim eyes stops to tie his shoe, props his heel on a hydrant. Now is that there, that once, a man who tied what he saw to what he had. <laughs> 